At the close of the age of fire, all lands meet at the end of the earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. The great tide of human enterprise, all for new. Far below, there is a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Matterings of the merry demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflictive thing, yet cursing men. Yeah, the demons aren't doing so well, are they? Well, uh, welcome back. It's the, uh... It's New Year's Day, 2022. And I last recorded way back... in July. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh boy, it's a hot day. Quite fitting, actually, given what we're going into. So yeah, uh, rather smart of me to go, I'm sick of Dark Souls 3, let's just start an Astral Chain LP in the middle, and then life happened. So now we're here. Good times. Alright, so there's two ways we can get into the Dreadkeep. This is one, back at, um, back near Solar Cinder is the other. So let's go. Don't need to head back to Firelink or anything. Right, so as always, I'm not a lore person. I am a, I like for gameplay type person. And, um, I'm interested in like what was cut and why. So, there's some stuff to talk about in this, but some of it, a bit of a mystery to me. Now I would put on, um, Actually, let's change this to this. I put on Silver Serpent, but it's not going to help too much right now. That's lingering, right? So let's do this. And, fuck it, we'll put it on. There's at least one enemy enemy to help on. Where they await the end of the world. So we're here now. Ah, oh, who's this? You won't die? Good advice, I guess. Grab the item, just an ember, and let's have a chat to a friend. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last, but here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-amped hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone humped hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> I've none of that, not a smithereen. Obviously, likes the word smithereen. So, embers, divine, and hidden blessings. Coins, a couple of gold rusted coins, and fuck you. Why is this thing gotta be the best halberd? Except maybe the crucifix. Split leaf greatsword. I'll probably buy it, but I'm not gonna be using it. Oh, excuse me one sec. A long handled greatsword that made its way from a distant land. Crafted entirely with steel, making it exceedingly heavy. Split leaf refers to the shape of the great blade, and it resembles the veins of a leaf. A resemblance to the veins of a leaf. Wind wheel. Helicopter man. Spin it vigorously above your head and sweep foes and transition with a normal or strong attack for continued spin attacks, which whip up wind and gain momentum, strengthening subsequent attacks. This piece of shit's got a true combo, and invalidates pretty much all the other halberds. 
Excellent game design. At the close of the Age of Fire, all lands meet at the end of the Earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. A great tide of human enterprise, all for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. At the close of the Age of Fire, or Great King... Yep, now right. Oh, if you... Whoops. Oh. My bad. Keep your marvels intact, love. At least until I lose mine. You're cool. Enjoy your seat. Yeah, there's, so um, someone uh, made a comment on a video I was looking at today. One of uh, Zuli's videos. And maybe this is the, uh, f uh, the Firelink Handmaiden? I don't know. So that up there would be Firelink Shrine. Or at least a Firelink Shrine. Who knows, maybe one of many. Yeah, we can't drop here, I think. Oh yeah, the Herald Knights. Boy, sure would be cool if this DLC kept adding stuff without explaining stuff that's been in the franchise since Dark Souls 1. Now nah, they're cool. I just don't know what the deal is, to be completely honest. Alright, so now we have these little shitlords. They're casters. And they're kind of infuriating at times. Because they summon them little friends. And they'll keep respawning until you kill the main ones. Who fire drakes. So there you go. This is what the Age of, of Deep entails, I guess. Now it should be, yeah, you. Okay, you spawned anymore or are we good? We good? Cool. You can go around that way too. You can jump off there. Land there. There you go. And yeah. Now the slumbering will work here, because I don't think he notices us. We do it very quickly. Aquamarine dagger. Not from a Jedi. Hello there. I've had practice with these guys, but I haven't played the DLC for quite some time. All I know is a R2. An R2? Oh, one sec. Uh, 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 uh. An R2 from um, the Great Club will always stagger them when two-handed. So you meant to do a plunging attack on this guy. Let's see if we can distract him long enough to make that happen. Gotcha. So I will go back and grab the split leaf one day. <clears throat> when I have enough souls. And I've got some other armor to grab. But while we're here. I don't have the int unfortunately, but Aqua Marine Dagger. Lightsaber. It's pretty cool. I like it. But, you know. I think that... I like to think that and the split leaf are like them experimenting for... Oh. For Elden Ring. Maybe it's split leaf's meant to be kind of like a Sekiro boss weapon, which feels like it. The second I use it, I think I'll go... Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, I recognize that from Sekiro. Oh boy, I love this room. This is a great room. It's the best room. Dipshit's about to fall on me from up above. But if I roll fast enough. Excellent. Up, oh, they're going for the grab. You fuck. Yeah, we're going to be very loose 
with, I'm gonna be incredibly loose with my language again. Because, you know, I'm playing Dark Souls. It's not Pokemon Coliseum where I'm kind of like, maybe I should turn it down. And then didn't. What? The fuck was it? Oh, you. At least these guys can't poise cast on, like, well, other enemies. The big sages, for one. Alright, something's trying to spawn. Murky hand scythe. Speaking of overpowered weapons, let's have a look at this thing, shall we? Pretty standard move set. Main thing is it has innate dark scaling, doesn't it? Yep. It's one of the few weapons with innate dark damage, and when infused with dark gem, this thing's incredibly good for pyros and dark builds. Um, also, it's got quick step, so that's pretty cool. It does a ludicrous amount of damage from memory. But, uh, wait, what? A barb straight sword, of course. My bad. Alright, time to take a hit. Don't you do it. We kill you fast enough. These guys love to turn into giant dregs, but they're not getting to do it right now. Thankfully. Alright, here we go. Roll. Hey, uh, so the angelic faith, huh? It's what it entails, apparently. So that's cool. So, I saw a Zuli video, speaking of which, um, just a couple of hours ago, and it's about the life cycles of the pilgrims, and how ultimately, that's what they turn into. So, you know, what a lovely existence. Now, I'm pretty sure that Lothric Knight's going to try to follow me, because he's a shitlord. There's a bunch of these guys, so we want to be nice and quick. Oh, there we go. I heard it, but we didn't see it. That's why sound design's really important in games like this. Alright, we're going to ignore all of you. Except for you, maybe. I can't remember if you're one of, one of the legit ones or not. But basically, we're looking for the main cast of the source of all this... Was crap. Also, yes, these guys do a lot of damage. Now, I'm pretty sure you're not the main caster. Called a hunch. Let's keep it on this. I want to know if I get invaded. Especially in the DLC. Okay. None here, but there's you. Oh, come on, really? Oh boy. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. I love how much damage these guys do. Someone will tell me it makes thematic sense as to why they do so much fucking damage. And it's actually really cool and lore appropriate and not just frustrating. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've said it multiple times. Oh, fuck. Christ. Alright. Up and, up and back we go, I guess. Hey, let's test something. Nope, still can't kill him. One. So that's some bullshit going on up there. Uh, so I've said multiple times, I really do genuinely like this game. Um, there are times I boot it up, and it's really well behaved. Enemies don't hit me through walls. They don't just flail around like shits. Oh, here we go. Got to be very careful because they can flip through that on the right angle and uh, other times the enemies just go fuck you they, I don't give a shit about you and they make life miserable I'm hoping today they're going to be super well behaved and we're not going to have like you know me being super salty and upset I'm not mad right I think we're good silver serpent Plus three is down here. Now it's the same thing as the as the original one we got so so long ago, back in episode one. Oh neat! Let's put this on. We're gonna do some sneaking. Remember, snake. This is a sneaking mission. Oi, fuck boy! I don't think you mate notice so. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my chair while he walks forward menacingly. 
So, he's got a cool weapon. Pretty rad. We'll have access to it very, very soon. But otherwise, it's the same Lothric Knights we've been fighting the whole game. Gotcha. That said, this guy in here can be quite strong. Now, which direction is he? It's going to be facing there, right? The hell is he? I think he's taking a wander out that way, so... Um... Okay, yeah, no, it's just this area. Hmm. Before we progress, actually. Yeah, so, uh, lasers. And the angels are caused by these dudes. Who are coming out of pilgrims, who would have died a while back. So, they either turn into pilgrim butterflies, or they turn into weird angel things. Kinda reminiscent of Dark Lurker. Okay, now we're actually being invaded. Alright, let's go over to Lap and have a conversation, shall we? We'll see if we get interrupted. Hey, Lap. Actually, hold on. Yeah, this is gonna work. Totally. Now let's just wait here. Have a fight, probably die. And continue from there. I'll let it add anything if we take too long. Ah, oh, Quinn. Wonder where they spawned? This is gonna be a true question. We just don't want to aggro anything down that way. Okay. Where are you, friend? I'd like to have a fight. Get this over with. If you're going to shoot me with a great bow, do it. It'll be great. I'd enjoy that a lot, but... Alright. Hey there, bud. How you doing, sir? Ah, we're going for that, are we? So that is Chaos Bed Vestiges, also known as Forbidden Sun. So this guy's a pyro build, and for some reason wants me to chase him. Are you doing a thing where you want me to swing at the NPC so you can make a YouTube video? Nah, not happening. Not happening. Let's see, do they know about the magic of whips? Come on. I'm not getting anywhere near my buddy. And you can only chuck so many of those. Nah. See you, nerd. Oh, Ash and Estes. Okay, that's one already. I'm not fighting their lap. Fuck you. Now, let's put this on preemptively. Okay. Interesting. I'm not swinging near lap. Come on, man. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Really? I'm running out of FP, not that that matters too much. Just gonna throw out some casual R ones. Is he trying to do the sacred chime glit? No, he couldn't be. He's trying something. I admire. I admire what you're doing there, bud.
Okay, well. Excuse me a moment. Oh. Look at you. You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. Call me Lab. I, I can't remember my real name, so... Let's just go with that. I have a feeling we're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Well, we'll have a combo in a moment. Well, I'd like to at least. I don't know. Ow. I don't know if they can get back up, so let's at least go see if we can have, like, a bit of a fight. No, I don't think they can. Huh. Well, alright. Is that them there? That's a message. Alright, well, I guess we're chatting to Lap for a bit. Well, in the meantime, might as well get something back. Oh. In all honesty, there's something I should tell you. Uh-huh. I'm... a holo. Yes. I try to play it off. But I haven't a clue about my past. Who I was. Or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching for the Purging Monument. Said to be in the Ringed City, where the pygmies who found the Dark Soul at the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is, those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> so yeah, talking about the Purging Stones. Um, also, apologies I'm doing this, but I just don't want to get ambushed while I'm having a conversation. That's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with oh. me. Come on. What else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow, for heaven's sake. <laughs> well. Well, that's the long... Come on. <laughs> right, so I think if we die a bit, he'll have some more dialogue, but for now... Sorry, Queen, I was going to come fight you, but I wanted to finish that. Aha! Okay, there you are, shit boy. Oh. Not quite a lingering hitbox, but yep. Okay, so there's two ways down. The way that'll actually... I hear you, where the fuck are you? Oh, they're down there. There's a Herald Knight. How about you fuck off? Um, Herald Knight down there. Uh, let's put this on. And the way that'll actually give us stuff. How about you get out, bud? Yeah, sorry, Quinn. I wanted to just have a convo with Lap. With Lap. I don't think you'll ever see this vid, but you never know. It's not because I'm a coward, at least not this time. Throwing knives, how do they work? Not very well. Ah, well, fuck this. Where are you? I don't know how well alluring skulls work on Lothric Knights. Well enough to make those guys freak out, though. I just want you to come around the corner and see me. Okay. Did you see me? No? Great. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. We're dealing with a spear user, which means there's a good chance it'll just smack us through a wall. So we got to be super careful with this. Okay. All right, buddy, come in. Gotcha. Now I know I'm healing pretty obsessively, but dying here sucks. Not because it's hard to get back, but just because it can be irritating. So I think you're the real one we want to kill, right? Clang. Alright, here we go. No, we didn't get boxed in. Perfecto. Ow, fuck. Yeah, see, they do so much bloody damage. So, they're casting some form of Deep Soul. We're going to take a hit, I bet. Yep, there we go. Couldn't roll that in time. Um, not sure which one. So you get, what, normal Deep Soul from Deacons of the Deep, um, the, the Transposition. I will have a look at that in a sec. 
um, transposition of air soul, and you get um, great de great deeper soul or greater deep soul, I think it is, uh, from uh, the older faithful. So projected heal, discovered in the last days of Lothric, toss a life that heals those near the point of impact. Even those who had forgotten the caress of the bounty and the bounty of the Princess of Sunlight did their best to recall her image. The stories spun about her were most since <laughs> were certainly childish and yet gravely sincere. Yeah, amazing chest of the head, basically. Um, a sorcery that fires great dark soul dregs that have stewed for ages, far from far within the deep. This sorcery is the highest form of deep soul. Yeah, deep soul, that's right. Deep soul and greater deep soul. Um, some of the Merkmen who rise from the depths are possessed by soul dregs, which have a grave likeness to the human form. Yes, they kind of do look like humanity, don't they? Alright, now we want to piss off this guy so we can get a plunge. Come here, you shit. Yep. Fuck boy. Let's heal up. Now there's a buffer right behind him, so we want to be nice and careful here. Dark Souls 3, plunge attack tracking. Now, unlike the one back in Lothric Castle, I'm pretty confident you're not going to murder me. Yoink. Chunk, thank you. Alright, you want some too, bud? Uh-huh. Pretty sure there's no more Merkmen to fuck things up for me, so I think we're good. Man, the Flambeau's just so fucking cool. If you ever needed to head cannon, like what this character is, I don't know. It's into pyromancy, likes bleeding. Could probably spin it like that. Lothric War Banner. This, uh, this thing's pretty cool. The flagpole that, the, sorry, the flagpole that once carried the Lothric Crest and guide of the knights long ago. The tip of the pole is fitted with a sharply pointed decoration, letting it serve as a spear. The, the weapon art, War Banner. Let you wave the flagpole high in the air, like the days of yore, summoning an ethereal war banner that invigorates the attacks of those who gather under it. So it's a spear. Yeah, not a lot to say. You can infuse it, of course, like a lot of the DLC weapons. And apparently this thing, like a lot of weapons, is particularly nasty on a pyro or dark build, of course. But the buffs power up nearly everything, I think. I'm going to have to smack some stuff quickly, but I'll uh, show off the weapon art in a moment. Yeah, we can't level up yet. If we had a fought the invader, maybe. And if we had have died because we fought the invader, yeah, probably. Uh, so... I don't know why of all places they decided to include Earthen Peak from Dark Souls 2. Could have gone with Hide. Wait, what am I doing? Here we go. Could have gone with Hyde. Could have gone with um, Drang Lake Castle, which would have been thematically appropriate. Could have even gone with like No Man's Wharf, but no. No, uh, Earthen Peak. Because reasons. So if we had to die, Lap would have moved to here by now. And he will appear if we die. Which is very likely to happen. Alright, let's have a look. Huh. Alright. So, up ahead is an angel. I want to test something in a bit, but we won't do it right away. So the angels are one and done if you kill them at the source. If you don't, however, they're going to keep coming back. So I've heard Hidden Body works on them, but don't feel like doing that right now. I can though, it's pretty easy. So if they can't shoot you, they'll eventually start shooting like a curse, a uh, beam of curse at you. So let's just see if we can play hide... I, yeah, um, hide and seek. Here we go. No? Okay, let's try that again. Uh huh. Oh, really? Boy, sure I'm. Up, oh, eat shit. Few. I thought he landed on it for a sec. Yoink. There's a pyromancer go up. I guess that's why they wanted to put Earthen Peak in. Now, there is a drop we can do over that way, 
that lets us skip a ton of this, but where's the fun in that? Hey, buddy. Oh, that was embarrassing for both of us. Yoink. Yeah, so just down by that hut, you can make a drop with or without the uh, silver cat ring, I'm pretty sure. And it lets you skip a lot of this, but... Well, I was going to say the intended experience, but that's not the intended experience. <laughs> so here's another angel. They're going to spawn just there. Now, this is incredibly dumb. Oh, that's Curse Fog. So, we have fucking another poison swamp. Because level design is hard, I guess. Alright, here we go. Gotta focus on this. And by focus, I mean roll and heal through this, if need be. Just gotta keep rolling, dursting. Move in now, move out. Hands up, my hands down. Yo, back up, back up. We got fat three, I guess. There we go. Now. Let's take the plunge. We might die. Hey, mate. How you doing? You good, bud? Ow. Ow. Just don't get poisoned. That'd be lame. Right. Now, they're probably going to cast Curse, so we got to do this real quick. Let's eat it. And let's get moving. So, you know what's better than a Poison Swamp area in a Souls game? That's wide open with lots of items to pick up. A poison swamp area in a Souls game where you have to roll avoiding lasers. Do we have time to pick up the loincloth? Just. I'm doing a pretty good job at avoiding these somehow. Drink. Oh, sorry. Eat, then drink. There's a Herald Knight just here. Just cause. Trying to cast some curse shit. There's a thrall hanging out just there. Got shot at. Come on. Take the bait. Damn it. Come on, buddy. Bloodstain, huh? What happened here? Yep. So that's the type of shit you've got to be very careful of. Uh huh. Let's see. I want them to fall. Oh, here we go. Come on, can you bait it? Bingo. Now jump. Yep. So that would have been too easy, just getting the plunge. And yeah, like most Dark Souls 3 enemies, they can cheat if they want. Wait a minute, does this work? Doesn't seem to. I'm hitting him on the head will deal some extra damage. Pretty good with a bow in particular. So do two of these stagger him? No. Must be three or four. Doesn't have the poise damage in very close. Yeah, three. Got it. So they're not too hard to avoid. You just gotta stay calm, really. And not spam too much like I was. So this guy got hit. Oi, oi. Come over here. Angel's distracted. Let's grab this and get out. We are going to run that way, though. Maybe this is the intended path. I somehow doubt that, but... And yeah, as per usual, if you stay on the corners, you might not be in the sludge, technically. Alright. This thing's heavy. It's a curved greatsword. A very strength-based one. I'm um, not quite the exile, but yeah. Come on, running R2. There we go. We'll backstep R2, running R2, same thing. Um, main thing is you can do the big slam they can. I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now because I'd like to just progress. So let's, uh, let's keep on keeping on. Now, I might... Uh, cheese out a certain someone up ahead because they're bullshit. Um, I'll try to demonstrate something. Because some of these enemies uh, have hacks on when it comes to fall damage in particular. I think the thralls can survive. I know someone can. Uh oh. Angel's turning. Okay. 
Let's just take a second to appreciate that, though. Really cool, huh? Really neat design. I just wish you could appreciate them when they're not, uh, you know, blasting away at you. So there's an old Dark Souls 2 friend up there. But, uh, we'll just see you first. Now, is your blade poison? I'm pretty sure it is based on the color. I forget. Cool flame bush. So there's a desert sorceress. She's an NPC, though. Um, well, yeah. A player character model. So not quite the DS2 ones, but makes sense. So we're just sneaking along here casually, running up these roots of this fallen arch tree. Or was it sawn in two? Here we go. So let's see if we can get him to demo something. Oh, no. One shot. You bastard. Well, bastard's dead, so we're all good. So we can explore the swamp properly now. You can't get all the way up there, but we are going to wander across the tree. So while we're here... Oh, by weight, I think. No, no, no. Default order is better. Alright. Loincloth. I've lost it. There we are. Undergarments combined with an overlayer, the former never intended for public display. Indeed, all manner of things are, ba are bound to be accurate to accrue at the world's end. Um, so what a lot of people do for male and female characters is this, particularly with whips. Nah, I'm good. I um. I'm like a serious whip build. I'm not some dumb meme build. I can actually make this thing work. You know, it's not like the Flamburst just carried it all game or anything. Ha ha. Ah, hmm. Alright, so, oh yeah, Fat 3. We'll ring a favor in this game. So we have a little more equip load to deal with. So if I wanted to say pop this on, ah, uh, almost. Right, and the last thing we. I was actually going to read the Desert Sorcerer chess piece, wasn't I? Garb of the desert pyromancers who walk the halls of the Irvin Peak. It is said that the thin burgundy cloth breathes with magic. Desert pyromancers, most of them female, were known for their great fa fans of flame and enchanting looks. But what is in what? But what is enchanting can also be deadly, especially when cloaked in such an alluring garb. Anyone who's tried to farm it can attest to uh, can attest to that part. They're really fucking frustrating to fight sometimes. Especially as, as, um, right as you're gonna hit them, they spit out the, uh, oh, what's it called? The fucking, it's been so long. I haven't played DS2 for so long. Um, my favorite spell, Lingering Flame, that's right. Yeah, that's a, that's a blast, that one. So we can put something on, something else on. Oh, Prism Stone, huh? Alright, well, let's fix that, shall we? This is what really matters. Peace Offering. Really? Okay. Now, Zoe's got some pyromancies, alright. Uh, yep, there we go. Really happy to see you in Elden Ring. Fucking love you so much for all goddamn. You're the best enemy type in these games. So, she has a normal whip like us. She has some Chaos Fireballs. The one pyromancy I haven't picked up. She has a flame fan, which does a fuck ton. And can get uh, instability hits. So I'm actually just gonna heal up, and I'm gonna say fuck this. You can instability me all you fucking want. I will win the trade. So she's not gonna do it. Um, she's gonna heal though. I hope she doesn't fall from here because that won't show it off. But uh, what's happened plenty of times in the past? Oh god damn it. Um, is I've actually managed to walk her all the way to the top of the tree, and she's taken a plunge. Oh, I'm not two-handed. Um, and she doesn't die. We die from that height, though, I can assure you of that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so she, uh, doesn't... She does take damage from this height, for some reason. Good to know. Now, there is an item on the tree. I don't remember if that's the correct way to go in this instance, because of the angel. We got the hood. Pretty much the same description from memory. She's going to hang out down there, so we don't really need to worry about it right now. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, same thing. Uh, pretty good for elemental resistances, of course. Yep, there we go. Intended path, apparently. You, but like, it's good level design. You're meant to notice the branch. Yeah, it's it's very easy to just not miss it. It's you know, have to be dumb to miss it. Ha ha. Hmm. Yeah, but the smart thing would be to ignore the item for now, so I'm going to. Normally, I'll I risk and you know risk going for it. But normally, I try to stealth through this area, like you know, a level 14 build. Um, yeah. So it's going to be really disappointing if I die a couple of times to the bosses up ahead. The very demon spoke of by Prince Lothric. So, by Prince Lorien. Ember. So that's a drop we can make right there. That's that hut. Something died. Do it. I want to show off something. So they do have an attack or two. I have a flail. Where's the other attack? Come on. Come on. So they have a second flail. That's not the one I'm talking about. Do Wrath of the Gods. Come on. Alright, enough of this. So there, you get a good look at him there. I don't... Yeah, there's nothing on the branch, but let's have a wander. With a root, sorry. Now, I've got to make sure I go back and grab all the stuff before proceeding. So, here you go. Await the end of the world. Pretty sure you can find, um... Hemwick Channel Lane down there. Or the Undead Settlement, <laughs> judging from the Endless Void. Now, that is where we're going. And that's a fucking arch tree that got split up big time. There is a really cool boss in there. Personally, I prefer it over Freed. It's weird because I'm talking around what it is, despite the fact that I've mentioned the name a couple of times. Um, especially while fighting Freed, going through the footage again. Because I think that's a better v version of their fight, of uh, Freed and Ariandel. Also because I'm better at it, that's, that's probably the honest reason. Because I don't suck at it. And also because Bleed is awesome, like I've probably said a couple of times. Righto. So, a divine blessing. Let's go about the swamp. You fell from about where? Branches, so somewhere there-ish. So, I don't know where Zoe's going to be at. A questing we shall go, though. To get most of the items if we can. Oh boy, I hope the PS4 fan's not picking up. That'd be bloody lame. Um, We can jump this, right? No, I don't trust that. Where's the spot I normally climb over from? So, item down there. Wait, it's... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Alright. Excuse me, one sec. Oh, yeah, no, Silver Cat's on. It's gonna apologize for putting on the ring, but fuck it. Yoink. And let's have a look. Where's the drop? This is what people try to make. Come on, Seek, you can do it. No. Nope. No, they, uh, they took damage, so they couldn't. Now, is that just the corpse, or was that an alive thrall? It's the corpse. There's a key on that corpse. Perhaps you should find your own answers. Alright, is this the way? How do we get to the fucking item? That's right, it's this one. So, right near the bonfire, is this. Yoink. Let's just check something. Okay, cool, cool. 14. I put this up to plus 9. Didn't actually help. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it um, increased boulder heaves damage. You know, something I rarely use in the first place. But it didn't increase Carthus Flame Arc. Which is not going to be very handy for the boss fight coming up. So I'm going to swap that out for probably Flash Sweat. Just so it's something useful. Tight night scale. Camera's in really close for some reason. There we go. You can land on that, but the game tries its best to push you off. Those are the, uh, the leggings, I believe. Or is it this? These are gloves? I think these might be the leggings. You guys suck. Yep, it's good. 
I'm not even going to bother killing them. Right. So, I did read a thing where um, someone was wondering. You know, it's kind of odd how uh, the dreg heap shown at the end of the game is just a straight shot to Solar Cinder. And there's nothing. Not like, you know, a lead up with like Black Knights, like DS1. Nothing like, you know, the path to the throne of want. It's kind of unceremonious in a weird way. So, you know, they were quite reasonably wondering, was this maybe going to be part of the base game and it just got cut? Oh, here we go. I'm looking forward to this. Let's run for a bit. So I haven't seen Zoe, so I bet she's going to be up the tree. Oh, fuck you. Doing that much damage. That's some shit, all right. You know what? Let's go figure out Zoe first, I think. I think that would be good. I can always drop back with Silver Cat, so, you know. She can get quite stuck around here. My Prism Stones. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Alright, I'm wondering if she fell to her death. Because, um... She's not here. So you know what I'm actually going to do? All right. Yep, okay, yeah, she died. So, uh, Zoe seems to do that sometimes. If you progress far enough, she seems to just kind of fall through world and die. So that's going to be Flame Fan, but I want to be very careful right now. I could have put Slumbering on, but I didn't really want to bother. Because I can just do this. Eat shit. Flame Fan. We're safe here, so let's have a read. Really, really cool pyromancy. Pyromancers of pyromancy of Zoe, descendant of the desert pyromancers, used repeatedly to brush the fan of flame left to right. Zoe possessed true beauty, as did all desert pyromancers, but hers did not poison, and so she became the unassuming queen of the feeble ones. Meaning the thralls, I guess. And was it meant to be an analogy for people who went ha ha ha, a scandally clad Dark Souls enemy? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. With how some of these uh, descriptions are in the game, there's got to be a slight cynical edge to some of it, surely. We've only got the cave to explore now. Hooray for me. Looking forward to this shit. So we grab that item, the thrall who was there fell off that branch. So for now, slumbering is probably going to do us a little better. We have some good poison resistance though. Not mad about that. Yeah, you fought. Arise, my servants. I'm just going to sneak past you because I don't want to fight you right now. See you later, fucker. There's another one around the corner, so... Now, I don't know if this was meant to be like some haha -ha, Dark Souls 2, am I right? But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure FromSoft, like, don't have the weird... Uh, like, I don't know how to describe it. There's DS2 lore in this game. It's not nearly as fleshed out as some of the other stuff, but it's still there. It's a little hidden. And yeah, it's just kind of obscured by all the callbacks to DS1. Alright, are you seriously doing this, bud? Yeah, come on. You can't be that dumb you lost me that quickly. Yep, so there we go. That's the whole hitting the head part. Muda muda. Come on, Jojo. I once had a showdown outside of computer all deep like that. We're on the tiniest bit of health. It was, um, it was a Twink Invader. And we managed to have a, uh, Dio Jotaro Knife Showdown. Or a Dio Mirror Match, rather. So this is all you actually have to do. Yeah, I keep thinking they have a leap back attack. So they're really not that hard to avoid. It's if you have to fight more than one. 
which is relatively easy to avoid here, thankfully, but maybe not so much later in the DLC. Ha ha. ha hmm. Now, this is a slap, right? So if you die here a couple of times, our good friend Lap's like, Oh, oh, you died a few times? Well, I found this for you. Aren't I helpful? I'm so trusty. Haha. -ha. Uh, un on an unrelated note, I'm wearing my Trust Me I'm Patches shirt. Featuring Demon Souls patches and Dark Souls patches and Bloodborne patches. Sure is hard I'd be wearing it while playing for DLC, huh? Alright, now let's survey my kingdom. You could have it all, my empire of dirt, or rather poison and broken windmills. Maybe that's where the whole donkey Odie angle was going to come in to our DS2. Because, um, I think that's what they were meant to be going with Lucatil from memory. I've got the art book in a shelf right, ne right near me, just around the corner, so I could always check, but... That'll give a conclusive answer, and we're not about that here. We're about rambling over gameplay. I'd say sick combos, but we're not playing Astral Chain, so that's false advertising for now. Alright, so I'm hoping to keep this one episode because I really can't be bothered splitting this into two. And I've got a cool idea for the intro. I'm hoping it doesn't burn me out as much as it did to do the Archangel intro for the last part. For Boss Rush. So here we go. Um, I'm pretty sure we get... You... Yeah, we gotta do it. Fucking you, I forgot something. I was thinking about that earlier. Okay, here we go. There's a thrall down there being a shitlord. Now, I've been playing a lot of DS1. So this looks like it shouldn't kill me. But, uh... Playing DS3. I don't trust it for shit. Hey. Hey. How's it feel? To give me a chunk. Good shit. Well, while we're having a wander, let's equip some shit, shall we? Uh huh. I don't want to fall off a cliff right now, but it'd be lame. So we are actually going to stop right after I said have a wander. Let's put on the garb so you can see it and admire a pretty neat weapon. So we're not fat rolling, but. Ah, oh, 49. That's not too bad. Ah, uh, it's about the weight of a greatsword, so that makes sense. So, this is the giant door shields. They're pretty cool. I wish we could just get the Imperial shields from DS2, though. Except, better. But yeah, they're, uh, they're what you think. Pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, just a shame you have to get to the end of the game to actually play with them. So let's see, this is the weapon art. Now it's not going to work because we need 50 strength, but yeah, pretty useful. I, I like them quite a bit conceptually, just again wish they were better. Now where's my Elva Helm? I've got my fashion. Um, could always drop the vitality, but where's the fun in that? Might get some other stuff I want to wear. Just this, this is really good overall. 20 in just about everything is really solid. Well, sorry, over 20 in everything. What's the lowest stat I've got? A 21 in lightning. Huh. That's awful. Well, I'll be able to gear up a bit better for the next fight. Alright, so we've passed the random the mucky muck for long enough. Um, I'm just going to tank the poison now. I really don't care. Ah, screw it, just in case we have an invader at the last second. I'm leaving Silver Cat on though. I don't want to die from full damage on the way to the bonfire. So we can totally grab one level. I'll grab some stuff like, what, Freed armor, I think? Well, I know we got Freed set to buy still. I didn't do that in all this time. I hadn't touched this character since I, uh, since I last recorded that from memory. Yeah, I don't think I ever did any farming, so, so much for the comment of, haha, maybe I'll do the DLC tonight. Ha, ah, hmm, that worked out great. I meant the secret DLC that takes you to the Ark, where you play Astral Chain. Yeah. And then a random Pokemon Coliseum video for reasons. I could still do a Sword and Shield LP, it'd be great, because it'd make people really mad. 
No, no, no. I've sabotaged this channel enough already. Alright, last plunge. Pretty sure we can land anywhere, but we're not taking chances. I'm going for the anime sigil. So, Slave Knight Gale. Clore ahead. Pretty sure you die if you go down there. Wait, no, is that the pathway? Actually, yes, that is the pathway, isn't it? So you can get back up. Oh, silly me. Right, well, this is our friend, Amnesiac Lap, with the Curse Ward Great Shield and the Split Leaf Great Sword, which, again, is a halberd. All right, let's test this out. If I die, I die. Yep, okay, so that's the intended route. Totally forgot. Oh, well. Let's head home. Right. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to link it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we get to. Um. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's probably going to help a bit more. I've got enough damage as is. I'm going to keep my awkward 19 strength. It's probably making someone upset. Yeah, more health. Let's be boring. Ashen. If I'm going to need anything for these fights, it's going to be health. So, let's go off it. Ah. Maybe if I get enough... Um, if Once I get to the dex level I want, which is hitting 40, I might actually do some more attunement. But for now, don't really need it. Now, it should just be freed set. Yep. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of these today, aren't we? Now, there's nothing else, I'm pretty sure. Nothing else interesting to grab. Why can't you be good? I think you're good in DS2 and that's it. Alright, now where the hell's Freed set? I'm pretty sure it's right down the bottom. So this is what my uh, caster wears. The one I haven't deleted at least. It's kind of a shame they uh, don't have gloves for it, but... Give me a second. Where the fuck are they? I'm looking for the one with no shoes. There we go. Ordain trousers. Yep, that's me. Cool cloth physics, though. So, ordained hood. Guard of Freed, sister of the painted world. A common black hood. After renouncing everything, Freed discovered a people that she wished to protect and assumed the precise form that they yearned for. A light blue dress sewn with thick fabric. And here we go. Hidden beneath her light blue dress are the trousers of a swordsman. An offer of protection implies the eventual wielding of a blade and spilling of blood, as Freed learned during the establishment of the Sable Church. Yeah, so she's actually a badass swordsman. I don't know if you could tell. Um, but she has a scythe because Priscilla reference, who I actually fought for the first time ever, um, like, what, less than a fortnight ago? That looks alright. The hood's pretty cool. Um, actually, hold on one sec. I'm putzing around a bit, but fuck it. This with... Where is it? There we go. Get your witch, witch, uh, witch look. And the ven very thinly veiled reference that my character is called Witch Diana. Because she is best witch. Um, from that cool trigger show. Right, what are we going to need? Yeah, Gundis. We're not suffering any loss of anything, so... In fact, we're gaining slash damage, and I think the... Whoops. Sorry, we're losing slash, are we? No, we're gaining slash. Cool. Can we up the leggings a bit? Gundis, I don't like the back part, though. Wing Knight. Okay, yeah, cool. More poise is better for what we're about to endure. Right, last well, preparation, so I should burn these bones, finally. We'll see if we've, um... Oh, that's right, I'll actually show the weapon arts. We'll see if we're lucky enough to get a seed of a giant tree. Let's just pop on the strength ring. Oh boy, this is heavy. So yeah, it's what you expect. Pretty reminiscent of my, um... Of my Karthus Curved Greatsword. Which I will actually use relatively soon. I promise. I'm going to use it on phase 2, I think. Okay, here we go. So, attack power went up. 
and the buff stays, so you can just pop it whenever. So, you know, useful if you want to do a one, one hit build. Oh no, it's gone already. Okay, cool. Patches doesn't have any more dialogue. Do you, bud? I mean, technically he does, but not this patches. Ah, oh, you're dead. Fine work. Okay, we're out of here. Alright, couple of preparations to make. All of this goes. We are now going to equip Green Blossom. We are going to equip Carver's Rouge. Okay, and these two together is the equivalent of... Oh yeah, you're a bit heavy. My Carver's Curved Greatsword. There we go. I'm going to be using you during a fight. Looking forward to this. Alright, so, cool boss coming up called the Demon Princes. I really like this fight. I'm not necessarily, like, super well practiced at it. But I, I just really think it's neat. I just think it's neat. Uh, we've got enough slabs. Maybe one day you'll be at plus ten. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, it must be cooling down down. <laughs> must be cooling down outside. Had the aircon off for an hour and um, I'm not totally sweltering. So, Lap and Gale. So, I've beat this uh, this boss, Demon Princes. Uh, Soul level 14, plus two uh, Blood Bandit's Knife. I could have done it solo, I got incredibly close, and I ended up saying, fuck it, I'm summoning Lap, and it's a breeze. So, yeah, if you ever want to get past these guys for cool shit in the Ring City for like an invader or a co-op build, Bleed is the way to go about it. Alright. Well, before we take the plunge, I think Lingering Dragon Crest is probably going to be useful. Well, spell effect, so no, that's not going to help at all. That's right, I was going to change it to Flash Sweat. Fuck it. I'm sorry, I know this won't actually help. And I'll actually cancel out my buff. Yeah, so fuck that. Um... Actually, here we go. Let's do a quick test, shall we? Oh, actually, sorry, while I'm here, I'm part pyromancer, so... Yay, insufficient, I get it, shut up. Don't want to get invaded now, I'd like to just go do the boss. Alright, here we go. So I assume this thing's really, really good, um when you get closer and closer to that sweet, sweet 50 decks. Because that'll mean you can cast pretty quickly. Again, kind of annoying that's how uh, how it goes, but... You know, that's how it is, apparently. Alright, um... Damage, I guess. Fuck it. It's only two points, but it'll help. Alright, time for a test. Alright, sorry if this has been super lame. Let's eat the grass. Doesn't cancel it. Cancel it out. Oh wait, no flash sweat just overrides it, so I wasted that. Perfect. Right, kids. Filing shrine. Alright, so demon in pain and demon from below. Awesome start. That's the laser. We are trading quite heavily all of a sudden. Okay, so these guys can be somewhat tough. Ideally, what you want to do in phase one, not be near a wall, um, but they will, oh, they can't break this one, is you want to take it nice and slow and just get pop shots. If you stay underneath them like this, you'll have an easy time until they do this. So how this fight operates, and I know a lot of people know this, is they'll take turns being the aggressor. But sometimes they'll just do shit like this and both start swinging at once. So yeah, you kind of want to just take shots while you can. While well, one's backed off, you want to get away from that, the poison laser, the poison burst, and just get in whatever chip you can. So if they're going for it again, I got knocked out of that, so I gotta be super careful. There we go. Bingo. Now, phase two will depend on which one of these dies uh, second. So, like, Thorn Sing and Smoke. 
I should have... Oh, that's right. It's not a poison laser. It's a toxic laser. Well, this was impressive. But I have 50 of these. Hard to equip those when phase 2 starts. I don't think we'll have to contend with that much. So, um... A couple of different attacks. One will have a laser for phase 2. Also, I'm pretty sure that uh, that might do corrosive damage as well. So we do have somewhat of a shared move set. Quite evident in phase 2 in particular. So there the aggressor. Let's try to finish this real quick. There we go. Perfect too, because they can't hit us now. Like I said, we're going to start building it up the second we come out of the frames. Like so. Gotcha. Now, I don't think we'll need it, but let's put it on in case. Alright. Let's make some room. I don't remember how big this is. So, this phase can ironically be easier depending on the place are. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the one we roll under, right? Uh, no, no, no we don't. Okay, so, cut content time. Once upon a time in Smoldering Lake, and I didn't mention it back then for some reason, there was a crimson bat. A cut boss. Supposedly, he hung out all these conflicting reports. One said he flew around the lake. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. I love this attack. They're shooting uh, the fireballs we're not allowed to have. Uh, is it happening right above us? Apparently it is. So you're getting a really bad look at this fight. Because I'm just kind of healing through it. Um, but yeah, Crimson Bat. Either you used to fly around, or the other thing is, shield and demon, uh, old demon King Boss Room. Staggering them is pretty easy too. You just gotta keep swinging. That's it, they don't take a lot of damage. So maybe the Ballista was gonna shoot them down, but in a Zuli video I saw just a few days ago, there's an asset um, that's been chained around, but I think it's still there, maybe just invisible, that is destructible by the ballista. So, who knows how that would have actually worked, but presumably, we could have fucked up the battle with the ballista a la Kalamina. Alright, it's going to be really lame if I die now. So, meanwhile, there's a cut part in a beta, oh sorry, the DS3 Alpha, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh great, here we go. Here we go. Alright, 1R2. There's a whole bottom section um, where there's this extra bonfire that went unused. You can still walk to it apparently if you have the ID. Um, I've seen it in said beta video and in Zuli's video and people kind of kind of just assumed that's where the bat was gonna go Who was a solo demon prince I should probably add but no apparently um Actually, okay. Yeah, let's let's go back and level up first, but yeah, apparently no old demon king was chilling down there There's some very rough um, There's a very rough version of the map uh, yeah, again, I'll put the video in, in the description, but it shows you what it was gonna be like, and honestly, pretty cool. Um, again, like, it's probably just me wishing for what we didn't have and what we didn't get, and what we ended up with is probably still better, but DS, uh, DS3 is like that, unfortunately. Forever you wishing we got what we didn't get, even though it might have been shittier, and we'll never know. Right now, there's nothing to buy. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna get to the fireworks factory in a sec. Let's stock up some wood arrows. What do we need? Could buy a ton of these. Yeah. Fuck it. Ton of kukris. Frog knives. Fire bombs. Buy some rope fire bombs. Fuck it. Done. Alright, sorted. Alright, let's just wander over here and I'll show you what we can make. 
But yeah, um, Crimson Bat could have been cool, but I reckon we probably got the better version of that. Saving Chaos. No matter what someone says, and even though they'll be totally correct, fuck you, this is the better thing to get. <laughs> I think it's way cooler. The Last Flame, lit by the Demon Prince. This pyromancy hurls a clump of chaos. Upon impact, this clump of chaos seethes wildly, condenses briefly, and then explodes, explodes violently. To the demons, these clumps are shreds of life. Meanwhile, the other thing you can make, which I'm skipping over, this chaotic thing, the demon scar, the last flame kindled by the demon prince. It is shaped like the claw marks of a demon. It is both a fiery blade, a bladed weapon, and a pyromancy flame, and it has spin slash. Strong attack makes a short-lived lava pool, like the parting flame, or like great Fi uh, chaos fireball, or just like chaos pyromancies from DS1, DS2, DS3. So yeah, this thing's really cool. Um, it's ironic me saying I prefer the spell when I really fucking like hybrid catalysts. But, I don't know. This thing's, like, definitely better. It's got a cool crit modifier. You can get some good combos out of it by, um, what is it? I think it's, like, with the right amount of decks and the Sage's Ring, I think it's, like, an R1 or something. To, uh, it's a true combo with Black Flame. But this thing's cool. This turns you into a demo man. So, I really prefer it. Can't show it off either way. No, I think I need way more uh, way more stats than I can accrue right now. Let's check. Yeah, 18, 18. I can't do that. I can get to 15, 17. Oh, well. Maybe I'll just show it off at the end. Haha, <laughs> no. No, that's not happening. Right, well, that's Demon Prince is taken care of. Cool fight. I chumped it out. Would have preferred to have... Uh, got a cooler cooler fight but that's enough footage to work with for an intro i think i hope at least oh well you can always start up a new character and record some new stuff if i have to wow this loaded really quickly and people were wondering if performance issues were the reason this you know wasn't in the final game uh in the base game small envoy banner hi it's a cinder no lord ahead no toothy serpent, huh? Try psych, and then blessing required ahead. He's referring to the skeletons. From DS1. Hey, it's just that suspicious thing that could have been moved. Once upon a time. Nah, I think it's when it was next to, um... Next to Andre. Alright, oh, I still haven't burned these. I'll never remember, because I really don't care about them. Uh, hold before the ring cliff for delivery. The small banner used by envoys of the great Lord Gwyn in the days of yore. Face the ringed cliff and hold the banner high to summon facilitators of transport. They're meant to be the gargoyles from demon souls. For the pygmies who took for Dark Soul, the great Lord gifted the ring city, an isolated place at the world's end. And his beloved youngest daughter, Promising her that one day he would come for her when the day came. I added some extra day in, but whatever. Right. Well, let's have a peek at what lies ahead. Someone walked off a cliff, right? Night of the wind here. Try jumping off. I don't think so. Ah, huh, looks like... Ah, huh, what does it look like? What's the symbolism with circles? Like a ring from Lordran? One of the miracle synergy points? The golden ring you touch after Iron Golem? I wonder. I mean, that's the most direct comparison, obviously. And yeah, our uh, Demon Pin uh, Prince buddies are uh, grown up versions of these guys. Curiously enough, um. Both demons have near identical models with some cool different details. And the phase two one is just whichever demon you kill second with bigger wings, I believe. Is all he said in the video. Alright, here we go. It's the Anna Londo shot.
I'll be honest though, this doesn't feel like Anna Orlando. This feels like a giant middle finger at times. And here we are, the Ring City. Touch bloodstain. No? Okay, sure. Alright, well, let's walk forward, hit the bonfire, and call it quits for the day. Ah, oh, summon sign, neat. Boy, sure would be cool if there's a neat armor set I could get at the last second. Let's do this real quick. Hedrick, the seventh. You're warning, you're wearing Mourn's head, so, you know, automatically makes you cool. Hey. Hark. They brought thee here, did they not? Dost thou the gods serve, or merely that role affect? Yes. Yes, of course. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? I have intimate knowledge of thy kind. I know thy want. The Dark Soul, is it not? Why else would one deign to visit this dung heap? Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, dude. Um, he changes his dialogue depending on your answer, unsurprisingly. If it is the Dark Soul thou desirest, then seek Filianor's church at the base of the cliff. There wilt thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid covering an overgrown privy, a prop to keep thee from the dark soul of thine desire. <laughs> Worry not, I am a true friend to thee. If thou art yet human, the urge will soon begin to swell. To curse the gods and bring ruin upon this accursed heap of dung. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you seem trustworthy. Now, yearly to Filianor's church at the base of the cliff to rouse the sleeping princess. If thou yet the dark soul desirest. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Now, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you're uh, you're an interesting guy. Alright, well, to close this out. So, there's adjudicator down the end. He likes to scream quite a bit. And summon ruin sentinels. Let's walk just in case. He can summon a bunch of different enemies. Three, in effect. The Ruin Sentinels from DS, uh, DS2 being one of them, who will shoot the hell out of you with bows, and you'll be seeing that in the next part. <laughs> um, there we are. So it should mostly be next to the Black Knight. Yeah, mostly. Now for Gauntlets, there we go. Bring Gauntlets. Wait, yeah, Ruin Gauntlets. Alright. Company of Knights who were sent to the Ring City on an old King's orders. The Knights sought the Dark Soul, but they were soundly crushed. Uh, sadly crushed. They had little choice but to swear themselves to the Judicator Giant. The ill-fated company was later immortalized in a dark fable inspiring the aspect of certain golems in whom their name lived on by. Lived on. Yep. So yeah, Ruin Sentinel. And all their glory. So this is a cool way to close things out, I guess. Pretty good overall. Alright, well... We're done, I guess. Uh, Ring City, I'm either going to be super happy and super, it's going to be super fun or it's going to be a fucking slog. I'm excited to find out which. Tune in next time for me getting really salty, no doubt, from the fucking Beyblades. Looking forward to that shit. Alright, we're out.